you really think about the side effects, the effect it will have on your family, loss of hair, the doctors, the chemo, all of the negatives, um, the one thing that nobody really thinks about and I didn't think about, I was diagnosed at the age of 30. I'm 33 now. 33! <laughs> So I was diagnosed with uh, stage two breast cancer at the age of 30. And there was no family history, there was no sign. I didn't, if it wasn't for me doing my self checks, I wouldn't have ever noticed. I wouldn't have known any different. There was no symptoms, there was no signs other than me constantly doing my self checks and kind of noticing the difference. But I was diagnosed at 30 and after everything, I had the doctors taking care of the treatments and everything was kind of managed for me. The one thing that I found the hardest to get by with my whole battle was just finding a healthy level of confidence. And looking in the like I did all the treatments, I did everything I had to do, but looking in the mirror was probably the hardest thing I had to do. And it took a long time before I could do that with a smile. And with me, if you're going through treatments, chances are you're not working. So wigs that could cost up to two, three hundred dollars were not in my budget. Makeup was not in my budget anymore. There were so many things I had to be put to the side burner to take care of my health and healing. And so I know all too well the importance of having charities like the Means of Beauty Response to Cancer that provides the wigs, that provides the makeup, that provides that confidence, that dignity back. And just to have that that support from someone that didn't really expect that I didn't really expect it from was amazing. And um, no one no one really thinks about that because beauty as as survivors you're happy just to be alive. So you don't you don't complain about the little things like how you feel and you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you, you just don't complain about those things. But in the back of your mind, it's always there. So I'm so thankful for Beauty Response to Cancer for not only recognizing that need, but also taking that financial burden off of people that already have heavy shoulders. So um, I, I'd like to thank Naveen, Dominic. Honestly, you're, you've been a friend, a sister to me in the, in the couple years that I've known you. And it's just been the immense, the amount of gratefulness that I have for you is I can't even describe. And I know that's a, that's the same for a lot of other cancer patients that you've helped because that's something that no one's really thought about for us. And you took that time to consider that and it's it's life changing. It's life changing. So with a further So it's my absolute honor today to be here to introduce my friend and sister <laughs> for life. Naveen Dominic, she's the cancer, but she's also the founder of Naveen Dominic Cosmetics and the author of the very inspiring book, the From the Ashes of War. So if you guys haven't read that, pick that up, make sure you check her out before you leave. <laughs>